Young one. A tromp on it and poop on it, but you kind of find that best bite in the whole world. It's better. Mick. Doing what Mick does.
This morning's project is uh, working on my barn. We cut the center post out of this to make an opening. It was a three-sided hay barn. And uh, when we decided to make it our, our feeding barn, we cut that metal post and cut us a big doorway out. The plan is put some sliding doors there, but uh, you know, it's on the list. But the wind is getting to start whipping a little bit and it's kind of bowing this stuff in and out, in and out. And you can see it's starting to pull a little bit of the metal loose, and pulling some of the two by eights, two by sixes away. And so I've been working on a plan to fix this and uh, it blows in toward the inside most of the time. So I, I put that little brace up there and it, uh, it promptly broke the lag screw out. So uh, what I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to put an extension on the top of the post. That way it'll be behind that rafter, that, that steel truss up there and uh, I'm through bolting with some three quarter inch galvanized bolts. These are some big old boys. Uh, so I put one in the top there. I'm gonna sleeve this thing, scab it down each side of that. And then I'm gonna drill through it and put two bolts in it. And that way hopefully it'll, and then we'll secure that metal joist to it somehow and that should have that done and I'll probably do the same thing to the middle and do the same thing to the end uh, so I'll show you progress as I go and put everything in the backhoe bucket and raise it up and then I'll take a ladder to get in the right, view from the top kind of purposely left that kicked out because of that cross brace is kind of kicked out from the truss there so I gave it a, about a inch to be I may come back up and put me a plate and a lag bolt in the in that to keep it from going back the other way but uh, I got two three quarter inch bolts there and then I got a three quarter inch bolt up there on the top so I don't think that post is going to give away it wasn't uh, put in the ground as deep as it could have been when we put it in we hit a little rock and we had so many other posts we didn't didn't bother with it, so we're gonna do essentially the same thing to this one, except I'm probably gonna put some two by sixes on the outside or on the inside here to to uh, secure that as well, kind of keep it straight, and then maybe scab a overlap piece right there on top of that. I need to make this door about a foot and a half taller because uh, I can't get my backhoe in here. And I can't get the nine in here with the chrome stack. So uh, we can't have that. Yeah, got a little, got a little dove over there in the in the top of that post. Nested, and she's on the nest, and she's not happy. So 
Tell me what you're doing. All right, well, I've got this extension in for this post. two of those three quarter inch bolts in the side of it and that way it'll be up behind that brace up there. That'll kind of stabilize it vertically. I may put a put some kind of a clamp on the side of some wires or something. So you can see how it fits on the... Get a little close up here. Yeah, it's going up under the... back down and he's attaching it to the original brace this is the original piece and he's just making it stronger because the wind literally blows right this way doesn't it yeah when all else fails what do you do pa Get a bigger hammer. Shoo. Third time's a charm on the repair of wind damage. This is the feed barn. You see his ladder is over there. He climbed up and got in the bucket so it'll be more sturdy. How big is that bolt? Uh, it's three quarter inch by probably 14 inches, 16 inches. There you go. Okay, good little fertilizer over at James Keaton's. I got enough screens in the factory. We're not using the metal filter right there. 